all uh, voting if you wanted a review on this, and there was only two votes, but they were both yes. So we're going to unbox this, and I'll give you my opinion about it. One of the problems with people, smaller channels that review things like this, is that they're so excited that they won't mention any of the negative stuff. Now, I am very excited to open up this. But that doesn't mean that I won't share some negative stuff, because everything's going to have negative and positive. That's what the box looks like. I don't know what the heck those are, but... Right there, here's your information. And the main advantage of this one over a lot of cars... Oh, this one, uh, it's normally 200 bucks. I got it on a deal for uh, $150 on Black Friday. So it says that it's brushless. Those are always a lot better, because they're more battery efficient and just more powerful. And uh, rechargeable batteries, obviously. I'm pretty sure the battery cells, there's three battery cells instead of two in the normal one. And metal differential, that's a good thing. Okay, so I'm really hoping that not everything is plastic. Uh, for those of you that have seen those shorts of that blue RFC truck that my little brother got a while ago, well, that one we ended up returning back to Amazon because it just had too much plastic in it, and some of the plastic components broke. Also, uh, the steering motor, it I mean, maybe got wet. I don't know for sure, but I th I'm pretty sure it got wet and then it didn't end up working. But yeah, all three of us bought these RC cars on the deal. And we bought two protection plans for the three, so hopefully not all three of them break. But we're just going to use the crap out of them for the first 30 days, because if they break in the first 30 days, uh, you get your money back on the protection plan and the item. So you, you get everything back. So yeah, we're just going to use them like crazy to do whatever we can with them. I'm sorry, she had to just get a shot blurry bottom. Okay, this, I believe, is the remote, and then that's how the car's packed in there. So it, it looks pretty good. doesn't look like it would break, even though the crazy UPS guy must have been playing baseball with it, which I hope. I think nobody's going to do that with the car. Uh, all right. Okay, that's actually pretty big. There's the box with the instruction manual. We got this one, the 200E. This one, I'm pretty sure the only difference is uh, the bodies that it comes with and the style of it. I just got this one because it looked more aerodynamic and be able to handle, be, be less prone to a rollover. But as far as I know, that they're probably exactly the same. Is that what it looks like? That's a lot of plastic, you know? I I really hope this works, and I, I, I want to be positive about it, but I see, okay, these instructions are much better than some of the other products by the brand DRC. I got some RC boats from them, and their instructions were terrible. They were really bad. Okay, and it gives you all your parts. That's that's a nice instruction booklet. Definitely better than the ones for the RC boats from this plant. Uh, okay, let's get away with those batteries. Move this all with one hand a little bit. Try to, I'm going to have my brother come out with me, but I just want to get this open now. All right. Like I said, I'm a little excited on this. <laughs> okay. There's one battery right there. And yes, that is a lot bigger than the last one. And with a brushless motor, this thing's going to last even longer. Okay, 1,500 milliamp hours. And it's 11.1. Okay, this thing's got pretty good voltage. And uh, the, the voltage is how fast the energy is transmitted. And the milliamps is how long your battery's going to last, how big the battery is. Let's get a look at this remote. All right, I'm just going to pause this and pull it out. First thing to come out of this remote box, I just had to pause it so I could cut the thing with my box cutter, the tape. This is, oh, this is a spoiler. So this would connect onto the back. I don't know if it really does anything. It's probably just for decor, decoration, or whatever. But, but you know, if this thing claims to go as fast as it does, a spoiler would be a handy thing to have if, if it goes as fast as they claim. All right, the body covers, pretty decent, you know, and they've got instructions on there that you can take off. And, yeah, I mean, your standard body, those, those look pretty cool, pretty good attention to detail. This one's got a cool color scheme as well. And they've got the old pull pin set up, so you pull out your pins to swap out the bodies. I've just got to get a look at under here, because I, I really hope not everything is plastic. But they did claim to have a metal diff, so that's good. Okay, yeah, look at that, that, that's not very good, see those right there, that's what broke, uh, both of these broke on our first one, and of course I can't just return it for that, so I fixed it, I just made my own, uh, with, uh, some, some plastic, I just cut it out, 
just a flat piece that would hold it and it worked fine suspension nice all right i'm just going to sit down while we look at this all right let me get that tire side off let's listen to the suspension when i drop it and this is also a ready to run kit you don't have to put anything okay this looks much better than the cheaper one the cheaper one was about it was normally uh 120 bucks we got it for 80 on a deal on prime day no weird noises from the, the suspension when you drop it and also the turning motor is brushless and another advantage from brushless that i didn't mention is that they're pretty close to being waterproof pretty sure this whole thing would be around splash resistant i think that's what they claimed ipx4 so you can splash it, it's not going to ruin anything. The other one did not have a claim like that, even though it did get a little wet. Like, not, we drove it in the rain a couple times. Okay, look at that. Another, yeah, that would probably last quite a while. All right, and also, that is much better than the first one. First one, you'd roll it in whatever, and the battery would be out the side. And see right there, it's also got a nice uh, little, you see right there, I wish it would be a little bit more. I believe there's a truck called like the Armor Granite that has a nice, it's, it's got a real nice shell around the whole thing to keep crap out of there. This is pretty decent though. It, it's better than the other one where it was just flat. It holds everything in there, protects it a little bit better. Let's get a look at the bottom. All right, one metal skid plate and the rest seems to be high quality plastic. Uh, a little bit more plastic than I would like. I think that's justified by the price, but just a little bit too much plastic, so I wouldn't take this off of real tall jumps or take it to a skate park. That would not be good. You can probably hear my brother screaming out there with theirs, they're having a lot of fun. <laughs> Alright, so two pretty good sized batteries. You can see the whole thing looks pretty good. Oh, it's got lights too. And now, uh, these are the chargers. Okay, that's a good thing to have. There's, there's more than one charger. There's... Yeah, there's two charges in there. Well, I guess I better open that up. Guys, I just had to open it. I'm, I'm pretty excited because I just saw how fast my brother's is, and it's the same. Okay, so it says output's 500 milliamps. Uh, this looks like a pretty decent charger, not the best I've seen, but also not the worst. That's a nice big connection. Yes, you probably don't want to leave these charging for a while because they're lithium batteries. Heard there was, a, there was a real nice big house that had burned down just recently from a lithium iron battery in Milwaukee Charger. Okay, a pretty, yeah, not that good of a brush, but that's not what I bought it for. But yeah, it just shows, you know, like, say that it has this, this is nothing. This costs like a half a cent to make. Okay, piece of crap screwdriver. Probably would work, but I would much rather, okay. All right, that's actually, okay, that's a really good feature to come with. So they already know that it breaks. They're just sending you with extras to be nice. They know that, oh, look at that. That actually moves. It's got a little ball joint. Well, yeah, a little joint in there that moves around. That's better than the last one. I really like that it actually came with those spare ones. That's really handy. And this, same tool for the last one. Just take off the tires. It works fine. Nothing special. And that right there, another one. Okay, that's a real nice thing to have. They give you extra of those. So I'm sure if you were to jump with it, you'd have to replace them. But I'm not going to jump this thing very much. We'll just take it on the stuff. But the way his broke is we just launched it like 10, 12 feet, maybe 20 feet in the air. I, it was really high above our roof. And then it fell down, and uh, one of these broke. Then he did it again, and it broke again. And that gear wheel, uh, is this differential really metal? I like they're trying the, the, the drive shaft's metal. But that differential better be metal. The bolts of them better be metal, because they said they were metal, but what the hell's this? Because if it was metal. And then there's, okay, there's another metal gear in there. Okay, that's good. There's at least some metal gear. So maybe they just cheaped out, gave you the plastic one. And there's a bunch of spare hardware. <laughs> He's just showing his right here. And that's on the lowest that's speed. That's on the lowest setting. You can even see right here. Now. Okay, so here he is going to drive it. He decided he'd distract me from my unboxing. <laughs> okay, go ahead. The tires are wet because he just had it outside. But well, this thing is a power monster. I'm sure because the tires are like these brand new ones, but... That's just like a click of the throttle. This thing's fast.
That's pretty fun. Well, now I'll go take out the remote and let's see mine. I just had to show you that on lowest power, it didn't spin around as much, but when you had it up to the medium setting, that was what you saw just barely. It was spinning around quite a bit. So, fairly impressive for speed. Uh, did this come with batteries? Yeah, kind of wish they would come with batteries in there. Hopefully we find some batteries somewhere. Nope, no batteries in there. Well, it's nice when they have, when they're courteous enough to include batteries. Not a deal breaker, but just, you know, just a nice thing to have. All right, so the construction, the thickness of the plastic, it's claimed metal differential, the bigger batteries. This is definitely better. I'm just going to take off that sticker. I want this thing to be able to be able to cool with those. All right, so I'm going to get this thing put together, which all I have to do is put on the body. We're going to choose this color, so you can tell mine to my brothers, even though they're exactly the same. Ah, cool. That's a pretty cool looking color right there. I like that. That's a pretty good attention to detail. All right, let's get this thing going, and that probably is about to sum up my review, but I'll let you see a little video of it driving around outside. Actually, hold on. I just, before I point, end it right there. Because I'm not. I've got a first aid outside. The wheels, um, they actually look pretty good with fit. As far as you go for grip, those, those look pretty good. I've got some other spare RC car tires. But yeah, this is the most expensive RC I've owned before. RC car that I've ever had. Okay, I see what the ball joint things are there. This thing has way more support than the last one. Like, it's got these all over the place, and it's got thicker stuff down there. So hopefully those don't break. If they do, I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to think I'm going to pause this video and be done until I have it together. Just going to also show you. This has a hobby grade connection. And I think the whole thing, pretty close to hobby grade. I wouldn't quite call it hobby grade yet. But it's close to hobby grade if you exclude some of the build quality. But it, this looks pretty good. So far, I'm not super impressed with some of the build quality. But I like that it has the brushless mode and brushless turning. All right. Oh, and that's that's the system that the remote control connects to and everything. Yep, it's got the nice little power on off button. They could make that a little bigger. All right. Um, the battery straps don't fit over the battery perfectly. They kind of get in the way of the cord a little bit right here. Not perfect, but still is better than having no strap like the last one. The the other one had like a little thing that went over it and you had to put in the screw. This is easier to access your battery and it holds in there a little bit better. But see how it's, it doesn't hold the battery in there perfectly. Not a deal breaker, but yeah. We'll add everything up and see. At the end, I'll tell you if I think it's worth it or not. Okay, one last thing. The, rem the remote definitely feels pretty cheap, and it was hard to get the battery cover on. But yeah, go ahead and try it out. It has so much speed. It is fast. It, it's early. I, I tried it out in the shop just barely, but yeah, speed is not an issue with this. This is very fast. Yeah, I was chasing it. And that's on grass. <laughs> yeah, that would be fun to go into a crowd of chickens. Don't take it too wet because it's only splash proof. Well, at least that's what they claim. <laughs> Get another chicken. <laughs> oh, I zoomed in at the perfect point. See, it's got plenty of speed. Very fast. Yeah. And that's on grass. If we, if we take this thing on the road, it's going to be very, very fast. All and right, the guys. The is awesome. Uh, go ahead and drop us a like. And I don't, I, I think I, I do kind of, I, I recommend it. This is really good for the price at 150 For 200 that seems just a tad high, just a touch high. So find it on a good deal. And if you got it on Black Friday, for 150 bucks, this is worth it. But for 200 I don't know. If anything breaks, we'll make a video about it, so stay tuned for that. Definitely, if anything breaks, I will make a video about it and show the severity and everything. But yeah, I would get a protection plan, too. These things, yeah. Hopefully it doesn't break on us, but yeah, we'll test the crap out of them for the first month. <laughs> Subscribe. Hey, guys, we're going to show you our RC cars inside today. It's gonna be a short, but be quick. They're awesome. They're they're a lot of fun to drift. And our uh, shop is dusty, and so it's yeah, it's fun. Yeah, all right. You in so here. Uh, this is max power. It's, it's hard to do up. max power in here. 
because uh, it's just like uncontrollable. Yeah, we like to keep it in the lower settings. Yeah, just learn how to drift. Uh, thanks for watching. Yeah, see you later, guys. Subscribe.